The TSK-8000 is used to strip the outer jacket of shielded, twisted, multi-conductor cable. The tool can be used to process cable that has a max outside diameter from 70 thousandths of an inch to 180 thousandths of an inch max cable diameter. The tool can also be used with universal die sets to strip single conductor cable, two conductor cable, three conductor cable, or four conductor shielded twisted multi-conductor cable. The universal die sets are color coded. Green is for two conductor and red is for three conductor. Please note that for the three conductor die sets, they only have one blade producing one cut on the outer jacket in order to remove it from the cable. All other universal die sets for single, two conductor, and four conductor have two blades producing two cuts on the outer jacket. In this kit, I have a tool, a gauge card, an Allen wrench, both two and three conductor die sets, and included in a kit is also a how-to guide and a complete manual. The kit you see in front of you is a combo kit. If you order the tool just with the TSK-8000 part number, it does not include the universal die sets. Those are sold separately or within a combo kit. The first thing you will want to do when figuring out what die set to use with your tool is to measure your cable. This is a two conductor cable and I will take the gauge card and I will slide the cable through the hole that best fits this cable. In this scenario, it's the hole for 140 thousandths of an inch max cable diameter. And again, this is a two conductor cable. Next, I will choose the appropriate die set. This die set is a TSD twist strip die 2140 two conductor, 140 thousandths diameter. That cable range for the 140 will cover cables from 0.131 to 0.140. You will also see on this die set an A and a B measurement of 0 0.020, which is tw represents 20 thousandths of an inch. Next, I will take my tool. The first thing I will do with the twist strip tool is to use my length gauge rod to set the length of strip. This length gauge rod can go up to 7.5 inches or can be completely removed by loosening the collet to run the cable entirely through the tool for long strips. It is not recommended to do more than 12 inches. Next, I will need to insert my die set. I will want to depress the arms to the tool body and move the lock ring in order to have the arms lock open. I will remove the die set from the container. Each die set has a part number and an A and a B on it. You will need to put the A die on the arm that says A by pushing in on this black knob and sliding the die on the post. You will want to put the B die on the B arm, doing the same thing. Once the dies are in the tool, you will loosen the lock ring, which will enable the arms to close flush. Next, I will need to set my blade depth. As previously noted, the die container says for A side and B side to have an adjustment of 20 thousandths of an inch. The tool and the 
knobs on the tool start on zero. I will now take my Allen wrench and I will need to loosen the lock screws on both sides of the arms. This will allow the knobs to freely move. These knobs started on zero and I now need to adjust them one thousandth of an inch at a time till I get to the number 20. There are hash marks on the knobs that represent a, a movement of the blade of one thousandth of an inch. This is now my starting depth. This will only create a light score on the cable and will not actually cut the jacket in order for you to remove the jacket. I will demonstrate that at this time. As you can see, the jacket will not remove. From that starting blade depth of 20 thousandths of an inch, I will now need to move the knobs one thousandths of an inch at a time or at your discretion to the preferred depth setting in order to score the jacket enough for me to remove it from the cable. Once I have found my preferred depth setting, I will want to take the Allen wrench and lock the adjustment knobs by turning the lock screw down on the tool. I can now take my cable, depress the arms to the tool body opening the arms, and put the cable into the tool. You will want to ensure that both of the die sets are flush to one another. Hold the cable with one hand and the tool with the other, making sure not to hold the tool at the top of the head, but at the base of the tool. In a smooth and inline motion, pull in the opposite direction. And as you can see, the cable has been scored to the point where I can flex the cable, the outer jacket will crack and peel back. From this point, I can take a pair of wire snips or even with my hands and remove the rest of the insulation. You are now completed removing the outer jacket from a shielded twisted multi-conductor cable.